My name is Cora Malcolm. I am the project and data manager of Provo Water Company here in the Turks and Caicos Islands. We're an archipelago of 90 islands, no fresh running water, no rivers, no mountains, no lakes. We rely on desalination to convert high salinated groundwater into fresh water. This means that fresh water comes at a high cost. Water shortages are being experienced in all corners of the globe. So it is important that we conserve water and use it efficiently. In the case of Provo Water, back in 2014, we were at levels of 18 to 21% water loss in our network. It drove the decision to move to automated metering. ITRON provides innovative technology and services to help utilities and communities make smarter use of energy and water. AMI systems are really the foundational element for driving water conservation. Now this is especially important for Provo Water because they don't have a natural supply of drinking water and instead they need to convert seawater into drinkable water through use of electricity. ITRON's AMI system is a digital technology that allows us to gather customers' water usage data and identify leaks and bursts remotely. And today, it has 63. It's a huge consumption. It's a huge flow passing through the district metro. We never could have anticipated the importance that AMI system played in our recovery after Hurricane Irma. I live in an area called Chalk Sand. It's on the southern side of Providentialis. I've been living here for over 20 years and I love it. It's an inspiration to wake up and see the beautiful waters. It is calm, it's peaceful. Hurricane Irma, a potentially catastrophic Category 5 hurricane, is currently pummeling the Turks and Caicos and will head for the Bahamas before making a potentially devastating... Hurricane Irma came in September of 2017. Me personally, I've lived through quite a few hurricanes and I think that was the most scary hurricane that I have ever experienced in my life. You can hear windows like they're shaking, like they want to vibrate. The sound is just one that is unbearable. You never can forget it. It seems as if every hour was going by very, very slow because you were praying for this hurricane to pass and it seemed like the hurricane was never going to pass. It was touch. Overnight, Hurricane Irma impacted our network and we lost 50% of our reserves which is approximately 3 million gallons, affecting all of our schools, homes, hospitals, airport. It was essential that we get the water back up and running to get the community back up and running. About a few days after the hurricane, we had no water at all. And it was wondering what happened. Provo Water said to me, uh, we'll have to check your system. So they sent out a technician. It seemed like the pipe was very deep into the ground. There was a leak about four feet below the ground. You cannot survive without water. You can survive without the electricity, but you cannot survive without water. So the water was a challenge for a lot of people. After that problem was solved, there was no more leak. Previously, when doing leak detection work, it could take anywhere from seven days to 14 days before a leak could be identified. That's because the engineers manually went out and read all the meters under a district. With AMI, we are able to get those readings every hour. You can't fix what you can't measure. So really, solving any problem starts out with being able to measure it accurately. Vitron's AMI solutions enable consumers to use water more efficiently. They can understand exactly how much water they're using, when they're using it, they can then go ahead and make personal decisions in order to reduce their water consumption. 
as I look at what we're able to do and the positive impact we can have on people's daily lives, that is truly inspirational for me. Through use of AMI, Provo Water was able to restore full services and fully pressurize the network within two and a half weeks. Prior to AMI, that would have taken us two to three months to do that. Water may sound like a simple thing, but it's a very important commodity for our livelihood, for families, for business, for everyone.